Hey YouTube, Shard Timers, how are you? I just want to encourage you today that if you feel like you're on the right path, if you're striving after um, the righteous path and the, the straight and narrow and not the road of destruction, which the whole world seems to be on, at least most of them, at least 50%, don't hold me to that. But all I know is there's a wide road of destruction. And the Bible says get on the straight and narrow. So long story short is I'm here to encourage you not to go back. Do not go backwards. When Lot's wife turned around and looked back, she was turned into a pillar of salt, which means she was no longer the salt of the earth. She was no longer no good and fit for the kingdom. So I'm encouraging you not to go back because going back is like a caterpillar that's trying to come out of his cocoon. He cut himself, he cut his skin, he ate his own self, he ate his own skin. Look up the caterpillar. I've, caterpillar. I've been studying the caterpillar and how it turns into a, from a cocoon into a butterfly. It comes out of the cocoon. cocoon. So, long story short is, you can I, how can you go back into yourself? How can you go back into uh, your caterpillar skin? You already shed that skin. You have turned that wine into new wine, so to speak. That's what that means. You know, you have to be fit for the kingdom. So if you look back, you're pretty much trying to be in the world or go back to your past or go back to the people you used to hang with and stuff. You can't do it. You can't you can't do it. You got to keep pushing forward. So I'm here to encourage you. Do not go back. That's it. Just don't go back. Don't whatever you do. Don't look back. Don't even look back. Don't call that old person, that old flame, that old friend, thinking that they change just because you change. Uh -huh. No, I'm telling you from experience, don't do it. Just because you change don't mean everybody going to change with you. You might want to take folk with you, but folk ain't ready. They can't go. I don't care who it is, your mama, your sister, your, your lover, your friend, your, your, your sister. I said sister. Your child, your grown child. Man, your kids, you can't, you, I mean, your kids, yeah, but if they grown, nah, you, you ain't responsible for them no more. My point is, do not go back, okay? That's like, that's like absurd. That's like unheard of. It's not, it's not possible. Once you make up your mind and count up the cost and shed your life every day, you die daily to yourself, and you live for Jesus, you live for Christ. If that's what you're doing, I'm talking to you. Okay? I'm not trying to convert nobody right now. Salvation is free, but it ain't up to me. Not, not right now, it's not. Now, that's on you. You know what I mean? But that's not the topic of this video. Topic, topic of this video is don't go back. I trust that you heard me. I trust that you believe me. You need salvation. Hush. Okay, I'm in their territory. I got to keep going. All right, y'all. Just don't go back. Don't be like Lot's wife. Be you. Be the best you can be. Try to be as much as possible. Be holy for I am holy. That's what the word says. Seek first the kingdom of God and his ways of doing things, his righteousness, and then everything else will be added unto you. It's not an easy road. It's pretty much a road of uh, you know, that cocoon, coming out that cocoon, you're going to suffer. You're going to suffer for a while. But uh, take that. It's four minutes and that's enough. Don't go back.